Ensure the circuit breaker has been opened, isolated and all shutters locked. Identify the bus side socket fingers. Remove the vermin proofing with a screwdriver. Disassemble the roses. Remove the springs first and then the retaining ring at the bottom. The contacts can now be carefully lifted off. When you collect the cable earth kit from the store, prior to the job, make sure the current matches the circuit breaker by checking the label on the top of the box. Inspect the kit and make sure it's in good working condition. And check it has a valid HV date on the sticker. There is also a sticker on the box to ensure they don't get mixed up. Check the sticker on the apparatus matches the sticker on the box. The next step requires two people standing either side of the circuit breaker so you don't cause damage to the bushings. Carefully lower the earthing kit evenly into place and push down to fully locate. If they don't all locate fully into place, remove all three covers and repeat evenly lowering the covers into position. Make sure the plastic shrouds are positioned correctly at the base of the cover to protect the cable from touching the shutters and breaching leakage. Take the earth cable and attach it to the A point at the rear of the circuit breaker housing which provides a dedicated earth point to avoid shorting out the zone. Unlock the feeder shutter and remove the spring mechanism holding the shutter in place. Open the feeder shutter and prove the contacts are dead using spouting earthing method by authorised personnel. Using the carriage handles, push the circuit breaker back into the cubicle, ensuring it goes all the way back into position. Ensure the interlock knob is pulled out. Raise the racking handle mechanism interlock. Attach the racking handle to the racking mechanism. Wind the racking handle circuit breaker anti-clockwise until it reaches the fully raised position shown as operating position on the CB. Remove the racking handle. Push in the black interlock knob. Insert the interlock pin and apply a padlock. All personnel on site must now exit the 11 kV switchboard room and notify all personnel that the CB is about to be closed in the cable earth position. Return to 11 kV switchboard room and confirm CB is closed and remove tripping fuses as required. Close the circuit breaker remotely using the control switch. Withdraw the interlock pin. Pull out the interlock knob. Raise the racking handle mechanism interlock. Attach the racking handle to the racking mechanism. Wind the racking handle clockwise until the circuit brake reaches the fully lowered position, shown as truck withdrawal position, on the CB. Remove the racking handle. Grasp the circuit breaker racking handle and withdraw the circuit breaker from the cubicle. Withdraw the circuit breaker with care. If resistance is encountered, stop and investigate. Remove the spring mechanism holding the shutter in place. Open the feeder shutter and prove the contacts are dead. Insert the test plugs. 